In this video, I want to talk to you about the 2022 real estate market forecast. Big bold predictions, maybe some doom and gloom interest rates. We're going to chat about everything here. So stay tuned. So my name is Tracy Goodwin and I'm a realtor in Chilliwack, BC. I've been selling real estate for a long time here in the Fraser Valley and I work with Century 21 Creekside Realty. What's going to happen to the real estate market in 2022? Well, honestly, I don't know for sure what's going to happen in the short term, 12 to 18 months. I, I think it's going to be a great year again. I mean, things are probably going to increase slightly, detached and single family homes, condos, stuff like that is probably going to increase. It's going to inch up. Interest rates are, are not going to uh, dramatically increase. There is predictions for um, a quarter percent and there's probably going to be a few of those throughout the year. But if anyone comes in and tells you, you know, the market is going to crash or, you know, the SNP is going to go down 30%, nobody knows in the short term. Um, look at the law of averages. There's always been a steady incline that has always just continued to go up. Um, probably the real estate market's going to go up six, seven, eight percent It could go down 8 9 or 10%. But probably not. Generally speaking, seven out of every 10 years are good years in the real estate industry and in the stock market. Um, if you look over the law of averages, seven out of 10 years are always good years. So who knows, but real estate is not a short term commitment. If you're buying real estate, you're in it for the long haul, seven to 10 years. Um, if you want to buy a condo right now and, you know, for example, sit on it and sell it in a year, I'd say don't do that. You may as well just stay renting for now because the friction cost of doing that, you know, you're paying your property transfer tax, you might be paying GST if it's a brand new condo, you're going to pay commission. So you're losing 10% of, of your value of your condo right off the top. So why would you want to lose 10% in the first year? Hang on to any real estate, buy your principal residence and hang on for the long haul. Real Immigration. Um, because of COVID, our immigration has, um, the numbers have been low, but there's a company called Baker West Surveys. They're a real estate company that uh, looks at immigration and trends and stuff. We, you know, we honestly thought that by now COVID restrictions would be uh, lifted, but we're still seeing, seeing travel and um, everything is being uh, reduced at this point. Um, but in the near future, there's an immigration mandate. 400,000 people will come to Canada in the next seven to 10 years. And 10% of those 40,000 people will come to BC and mostly focus in the lower mainland because of the jobs. And uh, right now there's low inventory. And usually in our, um, in our area, there's always been low inventory, but right now it's historically low. Um, so people are hanging on to the homes and um, it's a tough year for buyers definitely and with the stress test it's greatly reduced people's ability to move up in the market um, so people don't really want to sell right now they want to stay put and hold tight and wait for some changes um, interest rates are low and they remain historically low and they will be for a very long time um, the variable right now, uh, the predictions are they're going to uh, probably go up 25 basis points. That'll happen one, maybe two, maybe three or four times this year. But uh, four to four and a half percent under that is a great environment. Um, so if you're getting into a mortgage right now, start at a variable rate because they're at 1.1 to 1.3 percent. And, um, you know, take the advice of your mortgage broker and lock in for four to five years at a fixed rate. So what I'm thinking here is like sh tune out the short term um, 
you know, 12 to 18 months in the real estate market is not a long time. Buy your principal re residence, take advantage of the low interest rates right now, take it advantage of the principal residence exception and uh, remember the Tina effect there's no al alternative unless interest rates go up but I don't see that like to eight or nine percent renting is not an option um, long term for most people short term maybe um, but get an eight to ten year plan in place keep your re primary residence have a backup plan in case you need to rent that out um, but keep it simple. Keep it simple, sweetheart. <laughs> um, seeing people frozen on the sidelines right now and, and confused is just baffling me. So don't worry about the FED or interest rates going up. Get your down payment in order and get pre-approved for your mortgage. I think it's going to be a really good year for uh, real estate. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh... Um, young people are being priced out of the market and you know our kids will never be able to afford a mortgage well that's not true the Millennials take up about 30% of the real estate market right now they all have really good jobs whether they're technical jobs or you know they they work from home and and um, they're self-employed and entrepreneurs and they're not being priced out of the market. They've saved, you know, for 10 or 15 years and they have a good down payment. They have a good job and they're getting into the market and they're getting their seven to 10 year plan in place. So there's a lot of old school thinking. There's a lot of doom and gloom. The sky is falling and stuff like that. But real estate's doing good. And if you want to invest, do it with real estate. You, that is your biggest return it's your safest investment interest rates have never been lower they're going to increase incrementally safely because um, in the long term interest rates cannot climb internationally um, for our economy that just wouldn't look good for Canada it just wouldn't work you guys so um, buy real estate Buy lots of real estate, buy a principal residence, hang on to it, buy a rental if you can. I've got a few videos on how to do that. And um, yeah, stay tuned. More videos to come. 